all the fish. Plenty of fish. Look at that. All the little waves that they're producing as they swim away. Fish galore. Point four meters steep. Estuary fishing, why wouldn't you love it? Offers you a variety of fish to target and provides nice, comfortable conditions to fish in, especially when it's nasty outside. So I've come down to my Hayes Inlet area, my local inlet, and I've decided I haven't fished up the back end of it near the green zone before, so I've come down to have a look at what the uh, the sandbanks and what what it looks like at low tide so I can see where to fish and give an idea what might be here so let's have a look around all right come up in the tinny explore this area it does get shallow and a couple of spots up coming in about half a meter no, there's no problem in the old girl though she can do it All right, gives you a chance to have a look, see what the bottom would look like at high tide. What sort of action's happening. Maybe what they're feeding on. Find some yabby holes. You know, there's some good feeding spots. Sea life. Doesn't seem to be any uh, yabby holes at the moment. Sand's pretty firm. A sandy mud bottom. Dingray Central. There are good stingray holes everywhere. And you can see Hayes Inlet up here. Has quite two little branches. I think the main one goes off to the left. Smaller branch that finishes off up here. Hornybrook Bridge out there. Standard crab pot. Lost and forgotten. Drain lines. Probably have a couple of flatheads sitting around here, I reckon. Soldier crabs are everywhere. Mud's still fairly solid here. Big soldier crabs. They're the big fellas. And there's a green zone marker. Up that way is all green. Can't fish in there. Little drain running back out into the main creek system. So it was about 1.5 meters in that little channel there. That's probably a spot 
over there will mark the edge of the green zone and all that's a green zone in that spot there all those tree line fish jumping so yeah it looks fairly flat around here not many features up on this bank anyway this is the one feature on the flats at the back area of Hayes Inlet not much around it doesn't get very deep here look at this one it's even in the shape of a stingray front and there's the tail nice stingray lie there all right so i've had a good look around i'm going to come back here when it's high tide and try a few spots out in the deeper sections maybe up one up on the flat here as well and maybe one way down there just to see what's around you would expect here in, in summertime there would be brim whiting flatted the standard bread and butters so come back and try it then g'day adventurers we are way up Hayes Inlet I've never fished up here before but I uh, wanted to give it a go with the kids it's a nice day hardly any breeze we're floating in with the tide and we're floating towards the green zone so anyone that knows the area knows there's a green zone up this part of the uh, inlet so we're just going to fish around the edge or the front of it and see what is around in this place I suspect the usual suspects rim, whiting, flathead, stingrays Chico's getting bites, so we're, as I saying, we're using the prawns from oh yeah, oh Chico's getting bites Using, yes, go Chico, go, you're on, I think. Oh, no, there's all the fish jumping next to us. Kids are using the prawns. Go, wind, wind, you've got a fish, go Chico. There are, we're using no sinkers. No sinkers. A little brim. Chico. It doesn't need surgery. Doesn't need surgery, so we can go back. Nice little brim. Okay, there's the sign for the green zone. We're just about to float into the green zone, so we'll pull the lines in and start our run again, Chica. All right, we've moved position. There's the green zone. We've moved to the back of the little island. We've got tide still going in and northeasterly breeze. So we should nice drift into the green zone again. I think we're about 1.2 meters of water. Go bin, bin. So they only a little something. Oh, it's a flat looking thing. Oh, it's a good brim bin. Hang on. Scoop it out, Chico. It's a big one. Just look at that. Just caught on the lip as well. That's why I was so easy. Hook out of the boat, bin. In the water. That's a good size. Where's that measuring stick that's over there? 26... We're going to send it back. See you later, good little fishy. Bye bye. Nicer, the clouds have covered the sun. Kids were cooking and complaining. The tide is starting to turn to go back out now. And the wind is pushing us out too. We're in 1.3 meters of water. Linky's on. Lift it up so you're over the motor. Over. Um. That's it. Keep it out of the out of the way of our lines. Hang on, hang on. Only a small brimbo, isn't it? 
Mm -hmm. Small brimbo. And it's in the mouth. Yeah. Perfect catch in the mouth. We can release that one. Because it's rubbing against the hook. There you go, little fishy. Bye. Dot, you're on. Small. Small. Could be a whiting though, and that's the small we want. It's a brim. Small brim. Bail off. Mm -hmm. Another brim. Nice mouth catch. Bye bye. That's a big bend. Go. Oh, the. Oh, you broke it, Ben. Blinks. Blinks has got something good. Blink. Camera on. Be gentle, remember? You lost it, have you? Because you reefed it out of its mouth? Keep winding nicely. Oh, it's a big brim. Chico, you're going to have to try and get it because you're closer to blink. Chico, bail off, blinker. Oh, it's a big brim. That could be a new world record. 37 is my biggest. That's a 30 and it's a fatty. Keeper. Keeper. 30 centimetre, nice brim. That's it, 9 o'clock. Could take the kids back to a party, so pack up time. Just a nice brim right at the end, kids. I should say we just come around the uh, southern side of that little island up here. Picked up the nice 30 centimetre brim. Ah, oh, you had no bait on there. No wonder you're getting no bites anymore. But anyway, that's it. Let's get back in there, kids. Let's go home. Mm -hmm.